does your team plan to follow up on your success from a year ago? <sighs> Great question. I think, and this isn't just the, the political answer, I think every year um, our team takes on a different definition of what success is. Um, two years ago it was, hey, make the OUA Final Four. Um, last year was make the national tournament. Um, this year, um, I think we have the potential to be as good as any other team that we've had in the past, but the tricky thing is, is the experience piece. Um, I think the talent is there, I think the desire is there, I think the, the IQ, the personnel, definitely there. Um, we're going to lack in some games the experience of the, the Alexes, the Armeens, uh, the guys that have, that have left us. Um, although we've got some returners that can pro hopefully fill that void, um, again, that experience piece will, will might take our lumps this year. But potential-wise and talent-wise, the sky's the limit for this team. Yeah, I think we lost our top two scores in Alex and Armeen. I wish I had that answer. Um, we're going to be looking towards guys like Martin and Luca Lee, uh, our wings, and even our strikers too. We have Victor, who's a two-time OUA All-Star. We have Jamie Baker, who's returning, who's an OUA Rookie of the Year, and an incoming class that's, that's rivaled any other incoming class we've had. Um, so I think the onus now falls on the returning guys, the, the Luca Lees, the Martins, the, the guys in behind them, and the Victors, the Jamies. Um, we're going to have to spread the wealth this year for sure, whereas last year was give the ball to Alex and Armin and move out of the way. This year it's going to have to be a, a lot more uh, concentrated effort. At the top of my head, you always look to your seniors. You always look to the, the fourth and fifth year guys, and those are Josh Kahn, Martin Dabrowski, uh, Cedric Wong, Christian, Man Christian Maraldo, um, Victor, these guys. These guys have been around and they know they know what it's taken in the past to lead and take this team to higher heights, and the onus falls on them. But that doesn't mean that the first-year players or the second-year players can't lead in some ways as well. Um, I think a team that is that is leaderful is is the best approach, not just one guy. This is our guy. Right? I think everyone plays a part in that, and and it was never more evident than this preseason in practice. We found ourselves players stopping drills and coaching. Right? We we're not only educating our whole team from the coaching point of view, but fourth and fifth year veterans are, are stepping in and helping out that learning process for the first year guys. And um, just like the goal scoring, I think it's going to have to be a collective effort for leadership, definitely. You know, we have Carlton in a, in a week from now, um, after this weekend, we have them the following Saturday. That game is, that game is, man, it's like a, it's like a war. Um, does our mentality change? No. Um, and our mentality in the first third of the season, believe it or not, isn't to win every single game. Where you, you might think, where well, we had a year like last year, oh, we got to win every game. It's not that. It's to try things. It's to develop the team chemistry. It's to see where we're at, who can do what job for our team. Um, the second you know, phase of the season, the third phase of the season are much different than the first. So different mentality, no. We're here to work on things. We're here to grow from day one to the last game to prepare ourselves for a playoff run. Nipissing and, and Laurentian, I think last year we squeaked by Nipissing by a goal, Laurentian by a goal at their place, and when they come here, it's, it's, there's no easy games in the OUA, so um, we got our hands full for, with both of them, and the mentality, no, it doesn't really change. It's, it's, it's a time to work on things, and it's time to grow.